welcome back to my channel this video is going to be about USMT user state migration tool so big shout out to okay I'm gonna tell you how I study uh, or learn things I study the theory or you know this document docs.microsoft.com is a great source uh, but it's um, it's it's good study but to really see things in action you have to go search a big shout out to knowledge clearing tech I saw this video so this is how I do it I study the documents doesn't matter on the Microsoft site or uh, the book I buy I'm gonna show you all the books that I bought <clears throat> I study things then I go watch a video okay but to sim really cement it I'm I practice it on my lab like uh, on all of these virtual machines I practice it and that's how and then you know I make a video just to document it and since YouTube uh, is there so I upload it so if somebody else uh, want to um, you know be benefited by the trial and errors I ran into <coughs> it's good so let's do uh, let's do it so and actually he made a very good point like he put in the uh, USB <laughs> so with USB you if you put the USMT on a USB you can just go to different com computers and run the command right so there are two commands need to be ran uh, one is this one scan state so it's scan and uh, like uh, let's say it saves the thing settings on a server location that is uh, where is it can no it this one is configuration server so you uh, you back up the source computer and on the destination computer you do the load state so it goes to the same location and load the file into the destination so to get the in action I watched this video now I'm gonna try to make a vid uh, video of my own or lab it and document it on video so I really understand the concept let's do it so first thing first we need to uh, download and install um, USMT user state migration tool and there's nothing in the download so whatever I was doing last night so last night I'd give it a try and it was getting too late I had an appointment today so I just uh, went to bed USMT and let's see the user state command tool is this the download one We have x64, so we go with the 64 one and save file, open folder, double click it, and you have to run from a admin account. I agree. I clicked back, and hopefully it gets installed. Otherwise, the workaround is that I found that you can put it on a, um, you can run it on th from the server, and then okay, close it. So you can run it from the server, and you can. What you can do is. I run it from the server and make a uh, server drive like a share folder map it and then you can um, uh, run the commands uh, these commands uh, these command load state scan state from uh, you have to run it from the command prime you see following command 
so you can run it from the uh, uh, that uh, shared or map drive this one is taking forever and this this is weird maybe this one for was for the okay man oh there's a doc update available system endpoint ah it could it could be system endpoint uh endpoint protection um conflicting with it So I'm gonna see quickly <coughs> on the other one that do I have yes MTS part of the Windows uh, mapping tool or not or I will have to install it on the server and run it from there So, user state migration tool, user state. Let's slow a little bit. It's loading, that's why it's acting like a <clears throat> slow computer. Uh, maybe because I have CPU is 29, the disk is memory. It's because of the memory. So I have 16 GB. And I, since I cannot run many machines, I'm thinking to add another 32 GB. So let's go back to <clears throat> let's download here. Like, can we run download on this Windows 10 machine? <clears throat> BSMT download. Could be that the semantic endpoint protection is uh, preventing it, but <clears throat> with the admin controls, it should not. I'm gonna just try it over here and see if I can. <clears throat> yes. So it's problem everywhere. Let's see if I can go back. So this one is a part of Windows Assessment and Planning Toolkit. <coughs> is this tracking environment? I'm not sure where exactly is it. <coughs> Desktop, Windows Readiness, Windows 7 Readiness so this is like you can check everything map toolkit team blog home page is there a search function we can search if you remember we use this tool to see what pro what uh, devices um, or hardware machines 
are we can upgrade like they're ready let's see if we can change it use the state migration tool it's thin there it was installed so since it's there we need to find this one yeah user state so where is this uh, windows assessment uh, microsoft it should be accessories admin toolkit windows kits compatibility assessment console perform imaging and configuration this could be about the imaging which I need to look into like application compatibility compatibility standard user analyzer wizard assessment and planning Windows administrator tool are different. Windows kits. Volume activation assessment console imaging performance system image manager. Provision Windows mobile devices. <coughs> Desktop. images and configuration it's called imaging and configuration designer okay so 12 minutes into the video and we are still not sure how to get to the USMT so I think we get a go if USMT is installed, we cannot find it, and since it's a command line utility, let's go check the program folders. This computer, where is this C? It was under assessment and planning toolkit config metadata wow <clears throat> window Yeah, we just get right there. Ten performance toolkit assessment and deployment user experience. Let's use a state migration tool right there. Oh God, good. Okay, yeah, load state right there. I saw load state. Load state right there. Scan state right here. So, okay, good. Got that. <coughs> so. Uh, we uh, <clears throat> that gentleman what they did he copied this in, into a thumb drive since the reason I'm not using thumb drive is because Windows 7 my enhanced session is grayed out I tried <clears throat> to access the thumb drive on this it's not working so for that reason I'm gonna go with a server location where is my server right there so let's go create a shared 
file location here uh, USMTO I actually I already made that so let's run a EMD 64 I'm gonna just copy and paste and hopefully everything gets copied <clears throat> okay cool now I have to uh, make this a network like share it um, sharing 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 I forgot the advanced as folder is ready for a kind of security version customize click advanced sharing I know you guys are saying hey just share it over there right timing let's do this so it will be server 19 USMT the next thing they wanted was to create the uh, location migration my store so I'm gonna create another location migration slash rather than to my store I'm gonna name it win 7 because it's Windows 7 that I'm going to so I'm gonna put name migration and in migration I'm gonna call it win 7 so this is for example if I have Windows uh, uh, like if you have 10 Windows 7 machine then obviously not all of them name Windows 7 so what I'm gonna do is uh, in that case if you have 10 you can name them all to exactly the same name that that computer name is um, like they have to have a unique name in order for to join uh, uh, domain so you can check the name by going to I always click the wrong thing <clears throat> right here what is it see properties Security, could I? No, 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 no. Nope. My computer. My computer. Name. Win7.pc. So the other one could be Win7A, Win7B, Win7C. So it has to have a unique name, just like users, because that's how the these computers are on the network. So. Since we are done with this, uh, let's uh, ask me later. Close all tabs. Okay. So now I have to share it as well. Otherwise, we cannot access it, bro, right? Uh, migration properties sharing permission. Below and close. I'm nervous. It's gonna work or not? So then we had to, since we are not using the U USB from the Chrome command prompt, we cannot go like. So this is how you change uh, from one to the other cmd no yes let's i can do it here first you have to make sure that it is run as administrator so as you see it's c do i have another drive here e yes e is there so over here i just type e and colon and i'm an e now if i do dir 
as you see USMT and all that so to go back to C all I have to do is C colon now I'm back there and if I can DI your directory listing so it's the so it's very good that's why we cannot use the USB because if I attach USB here on 7 I cannot access it so I can run it so in the, that is why let's go and my computer map and network drive and it's going to be server 19 USMT attempting to connect to server oh I did not put 19 there 19 I hate when my keyboard does that let's try and you see so I mapped successfully mapped the network drive now I can go here so it's Z drive right so let's see CMD if I run the CMD as admin can I put Z call I am in Z DIR it gave me the whole listing right so since it's here keep showing you my email right so let's do this scan state and the re what we are hoping to achieve here is if I can go edit it the desktop icon so documents no <laughs> come on I create so let's go to use this document here um, documents right there so there is nothing here I'm gonna create a few documents. I'm gonna create a folder, a bitmap image, a text document, a rich that was the rich text document, and finally this briefcase we talked about in one of the earlier videos. It's no longer there. Now you have one drive. Alright, so I want to see this when I run these like move this user like user state migration tool the user state gets migrated to the other computer so this can be user is basically uh, had windows 7 and now he's being upgraded to windows 10 <clears throat> and he's giving new ha hardware so let's go and run the command that needs to be ran that's right there can let's see if it does or not scan state server one line migration slash win seven that's the location that it is going to uh, store config config call colon config dot xml what is i dot i'm not sure right should i use i uh, give me a moment let's run it i mig docs docs dot xml slash i mig app dot xml slash v colon one three slash that's probably l load scan scan dot log so migration one seven config config.xml 
migration docs.xml migration app.xml and hit enter all right load message are being sent to z scan log so it's fail non existing file so I, I found on Microsoft site you see docs.microsoft it says the progress log could not be created uh, no 39 review scan state log or load state log for details about command line errors in the file check the command line used to load um, so so it says check the file and all that then I read this line again it says that uh, non-existing file so for on that uh, I went to my server and there is no config.xml here and finally I went back to that gentleman this one and he did not put scan uh, config dot XML so let's do something else let's run the command without the config so once again opens user state here run I wish I could run everything like that can I do that yes I can and I'm gonna go can I oh yes it's working hit enter keep your finger crossed being sent to this starting the migration process you can see that no error code so far 42 person examining the system to discover the migration unit 42 percent done exciting so let's get back to this guy he basic it's this for the uh, if I can go up here it's for the uh, oh I thought it's for X I clicked on it for XP but it's, uh, it's saying that it's for everything so this is the nice thing that he mentioned over here override continue so there is no f nothing for config but he mentioned local only and I saw local only here as well so let's go and read what is local only while it's doing its thing oh it's done so local only like whatever the uh, hardware attached uh, uh, will uh, like external hardware attached will be um, excluded and just the hard drive internal will be backed up so let's see what says it was the uh, 100% done, 100% done everything. So it found Imran. How many users found? Imran Trump, administrator, Windows 7, PC. These are the local, this is the local user, Windows 7. Because it's not the the domain, it's not the domain Imran, it's Windows 7 dot slash PC. So what we're going to do is selecting. success so let's let's go and check on the server so this is USMT but you remember we made a migration and we have a folder automatically created for USMT and there is USMT dot migration so we are halfway through that's good and exciting let's go to um, let's suppose we want this um, not here la. this is my main computer for the do I want it here oh yeah let's do it it's it's gonna be it has only 26 days left so I will have to destroy this one and install uh, create a new virtual machine so let's run it again you have to run the CMD you go do it as admin it's gonna prompt you 
let's do the load state again we have to what is that <coughs> load state again we're gonna run without the config file or oh okay so I can do it like this I'm sorry yeah, I know that you will not be able to see my screen on this side but the main thing is just this one so load state again it's the server that no 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 we cannot run it from here i need to since if you uh, we are we don't have a usb we are not running usmt from usb so we have to create the uh, that uh, network drive here as well so this pc it was at my create map and network drive right there right there map network so again it's you uh, uh, Z server one nine and USMT yeah right USMT I hope it's USMT and yes so it's Z drive now I can close it close the Z drive is there so let's go and put z here dir what happened here usm z drive has so much data now no so what's happening there i oh, am still z no this system cannot find the drive specified that's why it gave me all it is Z right there ah I think I need to relaunch CMD CMD let's see it finds the Z drive this time the system cannot find the drive specified That is interesting. <clears throat> well, this PC has Z drive there. When I go there, it's logged in here Simran is logged in Let's log out and log back in and see if Z drives comes up. Sign out. <coughs> Excuse me. maybe I have to run it from the admin account but that folder has been given permission to everybody but if it, no, it if it does not work I'm gonna try one more time with the um, at least it should see the Z drive find it 
I specify. So I to quickly search this one. Let's try this. Net use net new connection with woman. Is it not working and we can see it's there it's let's you know remove it disconnect create a new one I have an idea what could be it but let's see if that's the problem server 19 is empty So for the sake of uh, troubleshooting, I really can't find an answer. Uh, I'm gonna go delete it again. This time I can delete it. I just didn't. Yeah. Oh. This was not a map net natural drive. Z Okay. And it's Z. I'm gonna give it another try. Let's sign out of this guy and log in with the uh, the admin account, the biggest admin. It could be issue with that. That you have to run it from the. Let's see if I have any network drive. I don't. Let's create one. Is running yes I'm oh again it did the same thing online finish let's go close it close it close it CMD slow Elevated cron prompt. That I was uh, in Windows, like uh, System 32. 
Here I am not. I'm in C users administrator. So is, let's see. Can I go to Z? I am in Z. Before I run this command, I'm gonna log it again and quickly check out over there. Let's go. CMD admin. And you see I'm in Windows 32. So I'm gonna see. So I'm in C. Now if I can go to try still cannot go to Z. Let's try just CMD. I am in Z. That was it. So run as admin was not the thing to do. So you see I'm a, as a user Imran and I can go to Z now. So we found a way. We learned something new. You see that it's not the admin account logged in. It's Imran right here. So that was it. Rather than to right click and then run as admin, all I have to do is just run as CMD simple. Let's see if I can run the load state now. And let's do load state server one nine slash migration slash win seven. Now it's going to be I column mig migration docs dot xml I column migration app dot xml and finally it's going to be version. 13 load load dot log hit enter and let's see what happens failed error code 34 so even though we could access the z drive we needed or we need so we need the admin account busted but learn something new right so we don't it has to be an admin account <coughs> long video trial and error video gotta make another one short and sweet one nope not to desktop so when it changes here you see it's no longer saying Imran that's my domain name so that's how I know that it's logging in to the local machine that the, the work group so I have to go type in Imran now it has changed to my domain name so whatever the company your domain name is like uh, it could uh, at my company it's chartercorp.charter.com something like that so it's the domain so, or you know, Macy Corp. Macy. Net, whatever the domain is, and you put your password. Oh. 
it's gonna take time loading. So let's go here. Close it and run the CMD. This is already the admin CMD. CMD command prop run as admin. Go to Z drive that we did. Now we need load state command. So it's uh, load state server 19 migration windows 7 where it's stored then we're gonna rem um, we don't gonna worry about the config because the file does not exist we're gonna start again with i migration docs.xml again i colon migration app.xml finally we're gonna give it the version that is 13 and load column load dot log and hit enter so it's saying it's being sent migration process starting is it done return code 14 so when you're gonna go and see what the 14 is create a lo local account because was not specified okay so so before I go and search what's happening uh, we can go check the code actually 14 is for the local account uh, if all right since um, we it was a combination of local and domain and then domain users should have moved their files as well I'm gonna just quickly check if those files nope they are not here they should be here right so if I go to Windows 7 and if I go here um, downloads or documents these files did not come so maybe it's failed as a whole so what we can do is we can specify those uh, don't you hate it when it doesn't work oh no 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 why it's shutting down local only lack let's add that line as well is migrating user use migration all lack and le so let's run it I mean just run it <coughs> load and in the end we can put uh, slash lic and I think that becomes the default password I'm thinking enter again it's going it's saying that it's starting and whatever let's see what it does okay now it gave me something 
hundred percent okay so that would be then in that case I could just lack and password right I applying data so administrator it's 100 percent done we can go to admin this is the windows 10 yes over here we can see if in documents we get everything so it was not there you see these are the exactly we created over there on that machine so everything is on back on here excited and let's go so it's doing one by one it could take um, I read so on one of the pages that it could take hours and it can take like very fast like in my case it were only a couple of users uh, not couple of about six so you see before the uh, it did not transfer everything <coughs> so the command has to run 100 percent before you can do that if it's failed midway it's not like something some users have uh, been migrated now all right <clears throat> i'm gonna i should let's try one more time for the sake of uh, trial and error so what i'm thinking is that it's gonna put the password in this format so that's the password that's what my thinking is for the local user i'm gonna see if i can do it like this will this command will run just like this and it will copy the password from there as well or not that's all i want to do so so once we have ran the scan state and it's done then if the user change make any changes okay yes so without that password thing it's um the command ran successfully so what i was saying is that once you have ran the scan state you have scanned and capture user data after that that user creates any more new data create new files they will not be added out in that um, in that migration file so for example you did the scans on friday uh, before you leave the office and monday when you came uh, you came on the second shift and the user was in the first shift and they created maybe 30 more files before monday when you started your migration process those new 30 more files will not be included they will not be transferred because they're not in that server location but uh, other than that whatever was uh, captured on friday evening that will be there so that's why uh, a lot of the companies when they do it they do it over the weekend so they make sure the user leave five o'clock and then a poor IT guys they have to do run that all and then the next two days they are working to migrate in all right so it's done um, this video is very long but definitely we learned a lot if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe share and I see you in the next one